Today I'm going to show you four cars in the Polestar showroom. The very first car here is the Polestar 1, the car that started it all for the Polestar brand. There are only 1,500 of these cars produced worldwide and they're no longer making any new ones. This is their two-door car, so if you join me behind, you can see that it's just two doors, flush doors. Inside, you can see the Polestar logo and the steering wheel. And all Polestars come with their classic frameless side mirror design. This is a sleek sports car. Behind here, you can see that this is not the standard charge port that we all have because this is an imported car, not sold here in Singapore. So you won't see this on the streets. But what you will see on the street is the car next to us. So come join me in front. This one here is the Polestar 2. And there are more than 350 Polestar 2s on Singapore's roads. You have the iconic horse hammer design in the headlights over here. And as you join me in the side, they've got a panoramic glass roof inside. This is a great driver's car with single pedal driving by default. Now, the interior is a bit tighter. So that's something that you will get used to. It rides a bit lower as well. So it's like a slightly higher riding sedan. You've got their beautiful steering stick and a vertical screen. Now as we go outside, at the back of this car is the iconic U shape that we all see when we drive behind this Polestar. And Polestars have an iconic, more sharp and angular design, so more squarish. This is the Polestar 2. The next car next to us is coming to Singapore soon. This one here is the Polestar 3. And this is their premium SUV. Come join me in the side and take a look. You can see that there's a very unique design in the front for aero. So the air goes in over here. You can see it's a taller car because it's an SUV. And it's got a small instrument panel, digital instrument panel. It has a vertical touchscreen, panoramic glass roof, higher right height, a lot more spacious than the Polestar 2 for both drivers and passengers. And you can see that the back of this car, they've got a wiper, large trunk, a lot bigger than the Polestar 2. So you can see good hidden storage below. Here you got charge ports, the 12 volt charging port, and you can retract and pull this back. It's a very good family car. And the charge ports are over here. AC charging and DC fast charging. The final car I'm going to show you is right in front of the showroom. This is the Polestar 4 that has just been released in Singapore. It starts at $320,000 inclusive of Cat B COE for the single moto version and $370,000 for the dual moto performance version that goes from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 3.8 seconds. Really fast. Again, iconic horse hammer design. There is a frunk in here. So as you go in the back, I double tap. Let's check out the front. Unlike the Polestar 2, which is the traditional front, this one, you just lift it up. At first, it looks big, right? So just open this cover, then you get this space. I was asking, what is this? And this is the emergency uh, warning sign. Small, can keep some tapau food. Come take a look at the interior. I love the frameless glass. And inside here, more spacious than the Polestar 2. And this is the first Polestar with a horizontal touchscreen using a Google interface. So everything is smooth, responsive with all the familiar apps drivers want like Waze, Google Maps and YouTube. You've got panoramic glass roof, good spacious leg space, very clean design. There's one wireless charger here. There are two cup holders which you can hide. There's additional storage space with two USB-C. And below, we can keep small bags. 
because this car is their premium SUV design, they've done something interesting here in the back where there is no glass. Instead, they use the cameras to detect what's behind, and that means there's more space for the trunk, which is big. Not just this, but hidden storage down here. And instead of glass, you see the Polestar logo up here. And the benefit of this design is you actually get more space in the rear. So come join me. As I slide all the way in, in the rear, you've got a digital panel here, which is with climate controls, entertainment, two USB-C, and this light up in the dark, so it's easier to find them. You can see that the rear seats recline all the way back, so very spacious. You can see that a lot more space behind, very convenient and good for road trips. Let me know what you think of the four pole stars. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on EVs.